preach the Lord who is in heaven to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord that looks at his people and does graceful things to them. The Lord that looks at the people with humble hearts and the listening hearts. May he look at you. May he do you good. May he prepare you good as his grace is. As the riches in his grace are. May he give to you as the desire of your heart is. May he give to you beyond what you expect. May he pray to you as a good rewarder is. May he reward more than that you did. May he put in your hands things that will never fill. May he fill your pockets. Let your treasury be full with whatever is needed. May he surprise you with his goodness and do you good. Father, I thank you because these people you gave them to me, for me to pastor and I've spoken to them through your word for the good work that is being done and they responded so you've seen how they responded with a very easy heart that is full of love they are so happy because they are giving when they are wishing themselves bless them Lord open for them the windows of heaven and pour down the blessing and they'll fail to put they'll have it in abundance it will be pressed it will be shaken and it will be abandoned may you bless the devour their sin may you bless the devour their sin may you blame the poverty on their sick may you devour the devil on their self close the door of those that take things from them and open the doors that bring blessings as they move out and as they're coming in may they see your goodness may they see your goodness may they rejoice because they have rest may the glory go to you in the name of Jesus Christ and in that same way I pray that you bless your word because your word is powerful and and your word is true. Glory and honor go to you. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a hand of applause. Amen. Amen. The book of Leviticus. Hey. <laughs> the book of Leviticus. Uh -huh. I don't know if the book of whatever it is. Okay. It is all English. Amen. Amen. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 2. Are you all there? You get an HBN at your night, Javanava Israeli. Or a garment, Munaranga Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. I know that everyone, according to the Bible you have, it speaks the same thing that I have read. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many words were they? Yadi Bimeka. Well, but I need to come in a bit on your local community and you become Yadi Bimeka. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 14. How many words were they? Muriba Lunji, no more talk with Dingana Mubigam. You are so good that someone can continuously repeat words. Mogoberengo to Kirivu, Mogoberenga, Mirenberia, and two, but not to Chitopena. Pursue peace with everyone. Uh huh. Worship team, you can't get Pursue peace with everyone. No, Tuku. And holiness. Awatariyo. Without that. 
no one shall see the Lord. I spoke about peace. I spoke about peace. I don't know if you remember the things I spoke about peace. To know that I spoke about peace. I even gave you proverbs or stories about peace. To know that I spoke about peace. I even told you even our greeting should have the word peace. Because our Lord Jesus Christ says that every house you shall enter and you find a child of peace, may you wish them peace. I want to start listening to a new kind of greeting. When the children of God, you're greeting each other in a way of peace. You meet with your brother. Can't you peace be with you. Peace be with you. Okay, turn to another person. Peace be with you. Greet them and tell them. <laughs> Amen. Amen. In Kinyaranda, peace is called Amahoro. But if you know Kinyaranda, tell them how do they say peace in Rugisu? Peace. Shimirembe. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you call peace in your language? Eh? Rot bed ken. Mm. Rot bed ken. Rot bed ken. Rot bed ken. Is it the same language? Rot bed ken. Rot bed quill. Can you show me the mulu 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 chori? Rot bed quill. Rot bed quill. Hey. hey. Don't you say that when you tell someone peace be with you, they are happy? Do you know why? Because everyone wants peace. That is why most times we demand to jagala to jisaba. We demand. We've we, we have to make people give us the peace. Even if most times they're not the ones who give that peace. Yes, Christ, Jesus Christ says, I give peace to you. My peace I live with you. Not as the world gives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're giving somebody peace, make sure you're giving to them that which Jesus gives. Don't give to them this which the world gives. Because this is a fake kind of peace that the world gives. Most times, we demand peace from other people. But the one we are asking for or demanding for is this that the world gives. And you find the woman is telling the husband, please give me peace. And you find the man asking the wife, please woman, give me peace. It is very possible on both sides. By the time a woman is asking for peace from the husband, it means that in that home, there are things that are not going on right. That is why she's demanding. But the peace that our Lord Jesus Christ promises, He doesn't promise to us because things went bizarre. It should be a part of our lives. We have to move as the children of peace. And Jesus makes it clear. And says, if you shall enter any house and you find a child of peace, may you wish that home peace. We should be the children of peace. 
What should we should be children of peace? We should be children of peace. And we should be people who give peace. Because you can't give what you do not have. If you're a child of peace, you can give people peace. You can't give what you don't have. So I spoke about this. And I even gave parables or stories about it. I gave you two stories. One story was of a competition of, of the best artists. And there was a very great prize to win. A person in the whole world who will take, who will make a, a portrait of peace. They competed very many people. But in the finals, there were only three contestants. And they told me the you the finalist. So we want one winner. One person took the and took enough time. They were given enough time. Took his overreach. He had money in all the pockets and the bags around him, which had money. And were, the money was also big. And there was some money he was holding in the hand. And then he made a picture when that man was speaking. And his statue remained that way. And he knew he had won. The second one took the picture of a man who had his wife. They have children. They were mixed up in the right way. They had a beautiful home. They had beautiful cars. And they were on the dining. They had served every food. Every beautiful, tempting food. There was every kind of sauce that can make someone want to eat. There was every kind of juice that can make someone want to drink. Mama and father were, were looking happy and children were also happy of the food. And he painted it so well. And after he wrote a word, peace. Everyone was trying to give a meaning of, of a mirembe. The third person took a picture that was so hard to explain. He, took a, he painted a, a, a sea which had a lot of waves. And in the middle of the sea, there was a small tree. And in that tree, there was a nest of a bird. And the bird was inside. At the entrance of the nest, the waves were, were taking the, the tree, takes it this side and brings it back this side, takes it this side and brings it back this side. It was not falling because it, ha, it, ha, it had grown, it had rooted. The, the, the bird was very comfortable at the entrance of the nest it was enjoying what was going on and then the other wrote this is peace everyone was given a chance to defend their portrait the one of the ones, when he defended people clapped and, and there was a shout because of the sound from the from from the fans. Oh, the one who the portrait of food and his family. When he explained this picture, people were so excited. And the, from the people out there, everyone had their own fans. And everyone and their fans knew thought that they had won. So the third person explained his portrait and told them the, the waves that the, the sea is the world the waves are the problems in the world this tree is Jesus Christ 
The nest is salvation. The bird in the nest is the person who accepted Jesus to be their personal Lord and Savior. And he told them this way. The reason why this person you're seeing in the nest is not bad. Even if the, the, the waves are taking the tree, he's sure that the waves no matter how the webs he hit, he can, the tree can never fall. Because that is Jesus. And he said that nest that is in the tree and the bird in that tree, they are very comfortable because they trust the tree and they make the tree their rescue point. That whoever is inside, the world cannot shake them. He even gave them a scripture Zabuli. Psalm 46 Even if the world is shaking We shall not scatter Ladies and gentlemen The fans of the one of food and the family And the ones who are finding the one of the money And the ones who are finding this man of the sea, All of them rose up And they clapped for this one They were sure that he's the only one who has taken the right portrait of peace. The peace is in Christ. The world doesn't give any peace. People have sold for peace, but it is not anywhere to be found. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, if you had something, you was, if you're wise, Get out of that staggering. You know the world can hit someone and they will stagger. Have you been in a car and someone is driving so on a high speed and then they stop at once? What do the people behind say? They say hallelujah. What do they say? They'll scream, Mama, we are dead. Everyone will speak about death. Praise the Lord. The world is so scary. And someone will be so shocked. Even in salvation, you find some believer who is, we are done, we are dead, the world has finished us, everything is high, the soap is high, fuel is high, even if they don't have a border border. There are people who don't have concern about the fuel. I am not trying to diss you. But let me ask you, except in the, in the, in the white, is, are, there, are there people in, when the traffic lights do not concern you, except in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the other world, the Western careful. world, they are so careful, they respect what is going on, but here, you find these traffic lights there is also a, a traffic light for the people on foot pedestrians when, it, when, it, when the red light comes you know you do not cross when, you, when it shows green you will see someone trying to make okay, move no before you now, see now when it when when it makes a red light then people are crossing that is a sign to show that a person doesn't have a car who doesn't have a border border who doesn't have a bicycle they are free to cross anyhow the, the, the traffic lights are not their concern wano here but in another country the cars respect the pedestrians and when, when, when that green light comes for the pedestrian everything stops so that the people on foot can cross in other countries that are so developed Person who is on foot priority. is a priority 
His feet to get on the traffic lights and press some button and he crosses when no car is crossing. These things have not come here, but I know they will come in the name of Jesus. If we pray, if we pray so much, those things will come. But if you're praying, don't pray that the things should be put in place, but pray that people should respect them. I wish the government should put in place. First pray for yourself and the other people so they get out of that silly thought and learn to respect the things the government has put in place pray for the border border riders not to cross when their light is not yet on Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Peace is needed in your life. What you need right now is peace. Praise the Lord Jesus. Peace. When you have the peace, even if you don't have money, you feel like you have enough. Praise the Lord. This peace that you're seeing here, even if you don't have, a person who has been chased out of the house when they have peace, they look as if they've gotten a house at a free will, but all their properties outside, they do not know what is next, but they feel within them, I have peace. I was told of a man who sang the song It Is Well. He was a believer. He lost his people. Some people say his family died in the Titanic ferry. But I'm not sure about that. But what I'm sure about he lost his wife and his children at once. He was called. He came. He saw the dead body of his wife and his children. He looked at them. Instead of crying, he sang that song. It is well. It is well. Do you know what helped him? He had the peace of Christ within him. Every time you do not have peace, even the thing that you should have overcome, it overcomes you. A person who doesn't have peace, they always give up. Something. They stagger quickly. They are so discouraged. Easily. They let go easily. They run easily. They blame others. They are so much. They are introverts. But the problem within them is they don't have peace. A person who has peace has rest. A person who has peace the situation that is shaking him, he feels he has a solution within him. Praise the Lord. He's just off work. He gets the termination later. He comes and tells the wife, I don't have a job anymore, but the Lord, may the Lord be glorified. If the wife is, is trying to panic, papa, please don't panic. Totia. Do not worry. The Lord has something better than this. He cannot do anything to us for evil. Those are the words in the heart of someone who has peace. Ladies and gentlemen, ask for the peace like Job had. When everything is gone, the children are gone, everything is gone, the riches and the wealth is gone, everything is over. His wife wouldn't have peace. Not a very quick solution. Deny the Lord and die. 
Job had peace, what did he say? You've, sp you've spoken like a foolish woman. Shall we only get good things? The Lord who gave us peace. And it's the Lord who has taken. May the name of the Lord be glorified. That is a person who has peace. Do you know why? A person who has peace. No. Even if it is so bad today, that is not how it is going to be tomorrow. I would be too, even if it is wrong tomorrow, but it would not be the same the other day. It would be bad the other time. It will not be the same the other day. A person who has peace, every time they have hope that there is something that the Lord is going to do. Let me hear an amen. Say amen. I spoke about peace. Let me speak again. Even if I had come to speak about holiness, I will speak about it. I don't want to rush people. I will speak about it. Because I have, reason, I have issues to speak about righteousness. Or but let me tell you about peace. Because when I asked you, you had forgotten already. I shall continuously say this word because your people forget until you've grasped them. Because what makes someone forget is not understanding. Every time you understand, you do not forget. Do we need? What do you need? What do you need? Raise your hands. Jesus, I need your peace that you give. Say, Jesus, I need the peace that you give. A person who is that way, when they have peace, they are not shaken. In amidst the waves, there are things that you'll never take out of the world. You found them there, and they'll be. Let me speak like Jesus said. Jesus. A girl lady came and anointed him in John chapter 12. A girl came and anointed him. He, she was a prostitute. Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot. Who didn't have peace within him. He interpreted it in a very wrong way. And Jesus looked at him and saw he was so. That oil. What is wrong with it? They are wasting it. Do you know that you can find yourself like Judas? Sometimes you Sometimes you become like Judas. You, you think that whatever they give to Jesus, you, you look at it as a waste. Someone, Someone gives tithe and then you're like, they have money to waste. You see someone giving money for evangelism and you have money for wasting me. I, don't waste. I know how to serve. Do you know that that is a Judaism syndrome? That, that is still rotating till today. Work like, uh, do like a Nigerian say, I refuse that. That illness is not going to be in my life. Over my dead body. Tophia. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You should refuse something. Because they were not good for the people who started them. Jesus told them. Do you think you've, you've had pity on the poor? You are not being pity. You're not pitying the poor, but you're, you're a thief. When the people refuse to serve the Lord, they want to serve other people, yet they cannot serve the Lord. People blame other people that they want to do something for them instead of God. 
we have very many people who have wrote their own Bibles. I'm not talking about the King James. I'm talking about a person who refuses to do the word of God and wants to do their own will. Oh, Judas I will not give the tithe I will give to the poor That is your own Bible If you refuse to give Do not give completely You cannot tell me that you are going to refuse What Jesus has said And you will do what you want I will give to the widows Do you think Judah had pity on the poor? And he was so, he felt so much. No, 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 no. He did not have pity for the poor. But Judas was looking at his pocket where he robs from. He is, it, is, it is losing out on something. There's nothing that you give to God and you think it is a loss. For well, the people who have been revealed to, to that secret, they will see the goodness of God. I pray that this church becomes the way I feel. If, if there is anything to do for the Lord I don't take it as a burden I don't take it as a burden Yesterday we were, we were soliciting money for Pastor Eddie Munyangabo's church Olugudo the road that the government is going to pass here in Namuongo. I think it comes I, from I, I, bypass, here. It's, it's the southern bypass. Is the one that is going to connect to Jinja. It is going to pass in Namuongo. So it, it, it was targeted in Pastor's church. Because it was a temporary building. church building. And it is in it is in the swampy area. He has only the agreement, not the. So Yunra helped. Yunra realized they had to give him thirty million. That is what they gave to them. They went to seek out for places around around. The cheapest was thirty-eight million. And they paid the 30. And that was all. They were looking for a balance of 8 million. And they made an, they made an agreement they will pay after 3 months. He came and told me I got an idea to call my friends to come and help us. I was also called right yesterday. I was there. Praise the Lord. We, we were able to, to bring up four million. But I also made a I also contributed. I contributed. I have my daughter who that, that when she's moving and then she finds a wedding meeting, even if she doesn't know, she goes. Even if she doesn't know who's married or getting married, she, she will branch. What's going on? We are in a wedding meeting. Okay, what's, what's up? I'll give you 20,000 and then she'll go. The Bible speaks about sowing. It tells you to put your seed every time. Throw your seed every time. The Lord makes it and gets to a point to tell you. Get your seed and, and, and cast it at the water side. Who has ever sown a seed in the water side, in the waters? But he says you can sow your seed in the water. You never know what will come out. Praise the Lord.
person when they don't have peace they will look at that as robbery they think it is a person who doesn't have peace they are so selfish but a person who has peace they have hope and a person who has hope they know that every time the Lord is going to come upon you the Lord is going to do me good the faith of such a person is continuous it is continuous every time I pray that you have peace. I wish the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ to be in your life. I, pray, I wish the happiness that the Lord gives me to be upon your life. Let that peace rotate your life. Until I've seen everyone in this place has peace. Until our families have got peace. And wife and husband are in peace. And their children are also in peace. We cannot go forth when there are still battles that are fighting in our lives. There's no place which has a war and there is a, there is there's a change. I told, you, I told you of the church in Chabahanga, they had a lot of wars very many times. Pastor married another Sumbaya woman. Luanyi. Pastor Fauci. Pastor Jesse in the church. Every time Sumbaya we went, we were solving problems. But even the people in the village were abusing. Them. And the church was named the Kavera Church. They will ask you, even if you went to the village, I'm going to the church. Of, they will ask you, the other one in the polythene. Because people, they used to take Bibles in the, cave, the polythene bags. You know why someone puts the Bible in the polythene? They're hiding it. They don't want people to see it. You know why they're hiding it? They don't want people to know they are saved because what they do does not look like what a believer should do. So one day we went. We found a pastor had fought in the market. Broad daylight in this market. The elder of the church had seen him box punching out. And then we reached, they were telling us the pastor fought in the market. That, that was the case. You're lying. Pastor can't fight. They have a way of speaking. There is someone who saw him who Yakatonda saw him. We were with Pastor Shatonda. Did you see Pastor Fighter? He did like this. He said, I saw him with my naked eyes. It means that he saw him clearly open with his eyes open wide. The pastor was denying as if he had been poured water on. <laughs> pastor, have you, have, were you seen but, but besides that, pastor didn't have one tooth. It, it got out of the mouth and the tooth remained in the market. <laughs> but the church was not growing every place that has walked there is nothing that will go forth so we thank God Kilingarena doesn't have wars but let me tell you if I look at Kilingarena it has wars in the hearts of people They overcame wars in three or four years. The church is in peace. They are built a beautiful church. Every time wars are done and peace comes, you listen. And peace comes. You know what comes next? Development. 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 Someone will say, I bought a plot because there is no more war. Everywhere when there is peace, 
there is a planning. Everybody There is agreeing. When peace comes, a man will tell the wife the money he has gotten. When there is no peace, even the money he gets, he will never say out. The man will ask the wife, you man, I you pay? No, we are not paying. They give you little, little money. We don't have money, money. but she has money. He's hiding it far. He even bought a short shot. He puts it on his side. It has been just for him. He puts the salary. <laughs> the man will tell you, you can fill my pocket. You, 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 there, you, you check if there is money. If there is, it is, the money is in the inner pockets. Because there is no peace. When peace abounds, those pockets, those inner pockets are not there anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then there will be truth. <laughs> my wife, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> Things are okay now. We got some money. Let us plan for it. Because there is peace. Even the money that a woman gets will take. You buy for me a blood in secret. The women are so determined. She will wake up early and will go to China Mukha. By the time the husband comes back from work, the woman is back. So and so came here and found you. I had gone to the market, so I was not here. The, in the village they are building. The woman is because there is no peace. Everyone is doing their own things. You should, you should fight for peace. You should pursue peace. Seek for peace. Some of you will never look good until you get peace. You buy all the vaselines and lotions. You'll smear and you'll never look nice when other people are looking. You. you can even buy the bleaching ones and you'll become black. <laughs> Because you don't have peace. But when you get the peace, when you get the peace, when you get the peace, even if you smear the one I smear, when I tell you the kind of uh, jelly I use, on my skin, you can wonder how I survive. But that is, that is what works for me. Do you know the soap that I enjoy bathing? It is this one that we used to wash. I enjoy bathing that soap. This, this washing soap, this soap, it does not, I don't miss it in my bathroom. It makes a good form for me. Where are you looking for expensive stuff? Me, I don't care. What I win, I have, I have soap that is called peace. I have Vaseline which is called peace. When, when you don't have peace, they will give you food. But when you have peace, even if the woman, even if the food got burnt, the man will tell you, I'm yes, sorry, this okay. food was so burnt, and you're like, so okay. it was zibu And it is sweet the way it is. As if you're telling them to keep burning the food. <laughs> because of peace. When, when there is peace even the ugly things are covered up with that peace I wish you peace now turn to your neighbor and tell them I wish you peace tell them that what you need is not anything else believe me tell them believe me today I should be your doctor 
Today, just believe me. Only now, let me be your doctor. I understood the medicine you need. It is called peace. So to tell, turn to them and tell them thank you, doctor. Thank you so much, doctor. Thank you for giving me the advice. Thank you for giving me medicine. Rise up on your feet and give the Lord a hand of applause for that. Good Father, we thank you and we glorify you for your word. The word of peace. Lord, I need that peace. I need it completely. Even if I look like I have it, but I still need it. And Lord, I pray for this People. Let everyone have your peace, Lord. In their hearts, in their lives, their words, may they come with that peace. Their thoughts, let it be filled with peace. The way they see things, let it be a peaceful one. The way they do things, let it be with peace. I pray your peace, Jesus, that you give to every woman, to every man. May they get it. May you give it to them, my Lord. May you give it to them, my Lord. May you give it to them, my Lord. Let there be a pastor that will get out of this room. Let there be a pastor who gets out of this house. When they feel in themselves there is peace. When they feel a song of peace in them. The, the streams of peace. Let it flow. The streams of peace. Let them Flow. Let them flow. Let them flow. The streams of peace. Let them flow in the lives of every girl, in the lives of every boy, in the life of every woman, in the life of every man, in the life of a single, and that who is married, in the life of everybody. Let your peace. Amidst the waves, amidst the wind, amidst when things are gone bad, I pray for your peace. Let your peace sustain us. Let your peace sustain us. Let us let your peace descend. Your peace let it pass us through the slippery that is in this world. Let your peace help us pass through the waves that are in this world. Let your peace pass us through the wind that is in this world. Let your peace become a, a, become a bridge that will pass through in this this world. Let your peace. Let your peace. Peace. Your peace. Let it be in the life of everyone. So that we can become sowers of peace. So that we can become the sowers of peace. Let us give a peace to our neighbors. Let us sow the peace in the people that we work with. Let us sow the seed of peace in, the, in our friends. Let us sow the peace in our relatives. And let us sow the peace in our children. Let us sow the peace in our wives. Sow the peace in our husbands. Sow the peace to the nation. The peace that you give Jesus. Let it be in our lives. Let it be a stream that flows to others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you've given to us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord do you good. Get out your 